Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I am so excited to be making paletas. I love paletas. If you are not familiar, paletas are Mexican popsicles. They have a very distinctive shape, and they're also super delicious. What I love about them is they have these really bold, expressive flavors. And today I'm partnering with Almond Breeze Almond Milk, so I'm gonna do a really creamy version of a paleta. So this is gonna be a cinnamon coffee pop. It's gonna be so good. And today I'm using about two and a half cups of Almond Breeze Almond Milk Vanilla, and this is the shelf stable version, so it's super convenient. And then I have about two thirds of a cup of sugar, big pinch of salt, I have a quarter cup of ground coffee, and I did this on sort of a quarter or grind, like as if you were doing a French press. And then I have a few pieces of cinnamon just to give it a little bit of a kick. It's gonna be super delicious. So to make the paletas, it could not be easier. I'm literally combining all these things together, cooking it for like a little bit, and then putting them in the molds. So I'm gonna add two and a half cups of my Almond Breeze Almond Milk Vanilla. So now I'm gonna turn on the heat, just to like medium. I don't want it to get too crazy. So I'm gonna add two and a third cup of sugar, the coffee grounds, pinch of salt, just to give it a little bit of an edge, and then cinnamon sticks. So now I'm just gonna stir it all together. So I'm just gonna let this come up to a simmer, and then I'm gonna turn it off and let everything kind of sit together for about five minutes. I don't want this to get over extracted. I just want a really delicious cafe au lait flavor. So the mixture is ready. It smells so good. And I love the cinnamon. It just adds a little bit of flavor. So this is kind of my tip for how to do this because I made these a week ago and I did not pour them into something like this French press. And it created like a ridiculous mess all over my kitchen. So this is a kind of containment attempt. So I'm just gonna pour this into the French press and don't worry if there's any grounds and stuff like that, we're actually gonna sift it out. So now I'm gonna add the little filter guy on top and then I just press down like you would making a pot of coffee and I've strained it. <laughs> I don't have to think about it, which is great. So now I have my paletta molds and here's the thing, you can use any popsicle molds. You can make ice cubes, it doesn't really matter. I like using the paletta molds though because they have such a beautiful sort of distinct flat shape. So I'm just gonna pour these in, filling them mostly to the top. So I'm just gonna add my popsicle sticks and then throw these in the freezer. And I love these, they're gonna taste so good, they're so easy to put together, and I freeze them overnight. I think typically it takes about like four to six hours, but I just do it overnight. So the palettas are out of the freezer. I've also run them under the sink so they actually come out easily, like that. These look so good, I'm so, so, so excited. All right, time to give it a try. So good, oh my gosh, I love it. It has a really creamy, nutty flavor from the Almond Breeze Almond Milk, but it also has that little bit of kick of coffee. The cinnamon is really subtle and really delicious. Mm. This just makes me so happy. It is the perfect hot weather treat, especially if you love iced coffee. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please, if you like the video, like it. Comment below, what other summer treats would you like to see me make? And also, please check out almondbreeze.com for more fun ideas like this one and thekitchykitchen.com. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.